Hey everyone, my name's Elise. Welcome back to another video. Today, um, we got we got a little uh, deck I want to show off here. The one and only uh, Virtual World. So, uh, as you guys may have seen, I haven't really posted anything in a good hot minute. Um, like, last format, obviously, there wasn't really anything worth posting that much. And then, like, I've been wanting to take my time in exploring uh, what the new format is for a minute. So, uh, this has been the deck that I've been uh, playing around with, like, from... For the most part right now because like i would play with phantom knight more but i mean that deck's basically solved so it's more worth it to uh figure out other options i could explore you know in the format and this is actually a very good pick that also utilizes the uh the new brave token cards or the adventure token cards so i thought i like tried this deck out because like i've not been really a huge fan of virtual world like since its existence but with this version of the deck, I don't know, something just feels different with it, and it just feels so much better than, like, anything else I've, like, or any other time I've tried to play this deck, and it just feels like, I don't know, it just flows really well and just has, like, so much to it now that, like, it didn't have before that I think it's definitely worth, like, being one of the top contenders in this format and something else for you to consider to play in this upcoming format. Um... So yeah, I guess before we get into it, just shout out to, uh, well, first shout out should go to Justin Singh, because he's the one that, like, helped me with the list, and, like, I don't know, we're just discussing this deck day in, day out. There's so many things that change day to day, but, like, uh, I don't know, there's so many th different things to explore with the deck, and this is just one way to do it. I know there's people who are playing, like, the punk cards, people who are playing, like, Psy Reflector, um, there, there's a bunch of different versions of the deck, so, uh, I genuinely think as I've been testing the Brave Token cards more, the synergy it has with like what the deck wants to do is uh, really good. So I don't know, I just like the cards a lot and Justin's just been really good at helping me, you know, test in theory this and we've just been liking this deck a lot. So yeah, and then uh, also shout out to Affinity Accessories, the sponsor, make sure you use code Affinity5 for 5% off your entire purchase for some of the best quality mats on the market for mats are already like the cheapest as is. So like, yeah, you should definitely go check them out. And also, uh, make sure you go check out uh, TGG Gaming. Uh, they're gonna be hosting a couple regionals, hopefully in April, as long as they don't get canceled. And uh, so, if you're in the South Dakota or Wisconsin area, you should definitely go check out those regionals. I will be there, and they'll be really great. And they're also just an amazing local in Minnesota. If you live there, you should go check them out. And also, shout out to my girlfriend Brooke because uh, the virtual virtual world cards are hers. And uh, yeah, uh, I, I definitely wouldn't be able to make the deck without them, so thank you, babe. I also shout out to my buddy Lang for lending me some of the extra deck cards because I didn't have everything. So, and also we didn't have like the excess to split between the two, between my girlfriend and I, so yeah. But anyways, let's just get into the deck profile. Um, the VW lineup is fairly basic. Just move this out of the way for now. Um, so we got three Lulu, three Lalo, uh, three Gigi, three Lily and one Nyan. So the only weird thing is the one Nyan. Um, so first of all, we should mention that this is actually 44 cards. Um, it hurts my soul, genuinely. I understand. I'm sure it hurts your guys' soul too, but the math makes sense, allegedly. And since there are a couple more bricks that are added to the deck, it is okay to still go over 40. And like, I don't know, the deck is just consistent enough that it doesn't even bother me. It just bothers me because like, I don't know, I've just been playing decks over 40 for the last few months and it hurts my soul, but uh, the one Nyan was just because like, with three e -Telly and like, this being one of the cards you always send most often, like, you can just control when you see it, so like, drawing it isn't always the best thing to do, and just other cards need to be fit, so just the one Nyan ended up being the casualty there, and I guess we can just throw the other virtual cards in here real quick. Um, just to get them out of the way. Got the uh three Kowloon, uh three uh Quinglong, and then the two Chuche and the one Jeanwu. Um like I said, the only thing that's weird is just the one Nyan. Uh no two two just because it's it's not necessary, honestly. So that is it for all the uh virtual world cards in the main deck. Um and then we can go towards the other engine, which is the adventure token card. So we got three of the Enchantress, one of the Griffin Rider, and then uh, three of the Rites, one Fateful, and one uh, Dracoback. Uh, the engine is so nice for the deck because, like, with Fateful discarding, um, 
it lets you get rid of like excess like quinglongs or other things just it you know helps fix your brick hands so well and then with enchantress being a three for nyan and just other plays like it's just another extender too which is like one of the benefits that, that the uh adventure engine has in pk that you also get with uh virtual world too and not to mention so the brave cards are actually one of the ways you can do your combos because of a uh, griffin being a seven and the token being a four it actually lets you facilitate doing like your combo plays because we do play a uh, baron and then uh the baron can get us into scythe plays and uh yeah i know another scythe deck but like with how much synergy it just has it just makes the most sense and even if you don't scythe lock you can still on a, end on a very nice board and have plenty of follow-up so i don't know th this this package just adds so much to the deck um and like i said we are playing the scythe uh i mean it's a defining card for the format right now but it's so easy to do and there's plenty of counterplay with like droplet and whatnot and so or plenty of counterplay against droplet so like the card's nice and then uh also play the one snow uh this this card's like insane in this deck like this plus chuche like the cards are made for each other like i don't know snow is just insane um not to mention uh it's part of your combo if you don't open any of your adventure cards so uh just being able to summon snow and do all those plays is very important very vital and it just gives you another layer of like interruption during your opponent's turn especially if you get dropleted so it's just very nice to have and then uh for the uh going second cards we got one ogre uh three gamma and the driver and then uh three droplet so this is all we're able to fit deck space is so tight uh the one ogre is just because you can e it um but i mean droplet is just the most impactful one right now gamma is just another good power card and it also is very usable on your turn obviously in virtual world uh gamma is just nice to have so yeah it definitely is a uh, very appreciated in the deck um and these are just the best cards in main deck so and ogres like got a lot of applications this format too so like it would be nice to run more copies of this but just having the one to e telly with is really good so it's not a big deal there and then the last card just three e telly uh why'd they bring this card back to three it's insane um that is it for the main deck like i said 44 cards unfortunate but we do what we do um so for the extra deck, we got the one Juju, the Charge Warrior, and the uh, Coral Dragon for the sixes. Nothing else really necessary. The extra deck is actually really tight. There's a lot of things I want to consider, which uh, I'll get into like actually right here. Uh, so we play the Riser Dragon and the uh, Omega as like the other random ones that aren't like six or nine or ten. Uh, so the Omega is because. Uh, uh, during your turn you can make riser dragon with any of your threes and then the uh brave token or the adventure token so then that can send the snow or if you really need to you can send the scythe but lets you send snow and then you can also use it during your opponent's turn to synchro into like if you leave like something on board that's big enough to sync with it or like when you bring back the scythe you can just make omega but it's really easy to like remake baron during your opponent's turn so that's a very viable option too so it just adds another layer to your deck to like you know set up enough interrupts or set up follow-up so it's nice to have um the only thing i would potentially consider otherwise is maybe just some other form of interrupt engine i'm i was testing um the crystal wing engine before with zulkin but i'm trying this in or this card now instead uh it was nice to have another like form of interrupt but this just kind of functions as another way to be engine which is very nice to do um the other card i would consider too is playing like muddy mud dragon and hot red just to have another like droplet counterplay i don't know if the, either of those are really like what's truly correct but these have been working out fine um and i mean obviously you're playing gamma so omega is good uh for the only nines uh shen shen, shen and vermilion uh yeah these cards come up a lot they're very good uh definitely like them a lot uh and then for the tens we play the one baron and the one chenging uh like i said baron uh is your way to scythe because you use baron in your own stamina or in your opponent's stamina phase target the scythe and then just bounce back the baron summon the scythe and then they're scythe locked and 
it just provides another form of interrupt and it helps breaking boards it's really easy to summon back too so like it's really nice to have and then the chen ying is just so good because <clears throat> it combos so well because like you have so many cards in your deck like you have all the virtual world spells and traps and then you also have snow you have enchantress uh yeah you have enchantress you have snow you have so many different cards that trigger chen ying and it just it gets really big very easily too and it just is an easy way to go for game and just have like another like body on board in case you uh you know need it and just another form of interrupt it's just there's so many things that this card can do for you that it's just so nice to have and like yeah like this is one of the things i was considering cutting when i was first making the deck but this card genuinely like does so much for you that no you cannot cut this card um and then for the only rank three just the one break sword it hasn't really come up yet and i probably could just cut it but i just i don't know it's you potentially need it just to be on the safe side but i haven't summoned it once yet <laughs> oops and then for the sixes we play the beatrice fan fan and m7 uh beatrice is how you send like scythe snow normally um so yeah and then these are just for utility factor i don't summon these much but uh just because like your different synchro plays now with how the deck works with like the brave engine they aren't as necessary but they do come up so you still need to play them um and i play the gaia charger as my zeus bridge uh it can easily be downered because then like you can always use like chuche to lower the fan fan but uh you just play more sixes so gaia just potentially comes up more for me personally and then zeus you just need to have in your deck and uh for the side deck uh this is really like so for this first one this can kind of be anything just play ash for now it's fine just couldn't think of much else better to play and like we already play all the cards that we deem necessary to have in our like main side so it was just the next best thing and like it helps against the random decks especially at the start of the format so it's nice to have just for generic purposes uh three lancia and then three nib uh i think these are mandatory a lot of people try and just cut nib and i'm like you're actually smoking something because like nib is like so insane for the deck or just so insane in general in this format and i think people really discredit it only because of the adventure cards but i think it just has such a huge place in this format and i think people need to respect it more and I play the one token collector just because you play the Beatrice. So, and you also play Riser Dragon. So you have multiple ways to send this and just make it live. So it's really nice to have. Um, Cause like one thing you can do too is if, like you go Riser, send this, and then you summon it on their turn and you have another three. You just remake Baron, which is pretty easy to do. So that's always really nice to do. Uh, but that's it for the monsters in the side deck and all the extra like, hand traps I play. And then play the one called by just have something going first there's not much room otherwise like you could probably cut the ash to put in something to go first with but like i think just having the one called by is fine because you can always just put in other hand traps to go first with which still have a lot of value and just having the call by just really off like lancy is a thing so you need to try and have this if you can and then for the back removal just got the one duster two lightning storm and reboot um can't play even layer cosmic because lancia exists and i don't know just blowing them out is fine you have a pretty decent trap matchup so you probably don't even need to go this heavy but like i don't know there's considering that like you already have enough slots devoted here anyways uh with how side decking works you can't really afford to like have that much more in here because otherwise then you can't side deck properly so like having the little bit of space to go to these is fine and like you can't always guarantee having the best background matchup so just you know blow them out and you're fine but uh yeah that is gonna be it for this so hopefully that gives you guys something to explore for this upcoming upcoming format if you're looking for something different to try out i definitely like i said really like this deck a lot i think it's very worth exploring and uh yeah i if you guys want to check it out you should feel free to but uh yeah that's gonna be for this one um make sure you guys also follow my twitch link will be down below in the description follow my twitter uh that's where i post a lot of stuff and just you know keep you guys up to date on everything that's going on um check out my discord server uh send me mail i have a p.o box that'd be cool too um but yeah i think that's about it so hope you guys enjoyed we'll see you guys next time bye everybody